National Academy of Sports Medicine's Optimum Performance Training Model. Now, as sports performance coaches, we need to have a comprehensive, systematic, integrative training approach to improve all components necessary for an athlete to perform at the highest level and prevent injury. With functional strength is the ability of the neuromuscular system to efficiently and effectively produce force, reduce force, and dynamically stabilize the entire human movement system during functional movements. The stretch shortening cycle. Specific exercises can increase power output and explosiveness by training muscles to do more work in a short amount of time. By utilizing the stretch shortening cycle, which occurs when activated muscles transfer from eccentric contraction deceleration to a rapid concentric contraction acceleration. We have to make sure that we're training in all three planes of motion, sagittal, frontal, and transverse. That's what's gonna be happening in the athletic field, and we have to set our athletes up for success training in all different planes of motion. Now, with training in optimal posture, optimal alignment of each segment of the human movement system is the cornerstone of any functional sports performance program. Components of an integrative sports performance program are flexibility, core, balance, plyometrics, speed, agility, and quickness, and cardiorespiratory systems. Flexibility. Muscle imbalances and poor flexibility may decrease performance and increase the risk of injury. With the core, also known as the lumbopelvic hip complex, we have to make sure that we're training muscle balance, neuromuscular efficiency, strength, power, and endurance. With core strengthening, according to the study, that there was significant differences seen in athletes' landing mechanics after completing a six-week core strengthening program. Data showed significant activation in trunk muscles, which create a positive correlation between core activation and landing efficiency. Balance. Balance training in a proprioceptive, rich environment stimulates neuromuscular adaptations, leading to improved coordination, which is huge in athletics. With plyometrics, the human movement system must react quickly following an eccentric contraction, produce a concentric contraction, imparts necessary forces to accelerate in the proper direction. With a speed, agility, and quickness is the ability to change direction at the appropriate reaction to given time and often the difference between injury, safety, success, or failure. Now, according to this 12-week study, soccer athletes improved their speed and agility and quickness tremendously after doing a post-test. The cardiorespiratory system. Athletes often fail to understand why building a base is so important to their total sports performance. Without proper aerobic base, fatigue leads to reduction of athletic performance, increasing injury rate. Now, with the optimum performance training model, there is six phases. Phase one is stabilization endurance. Phases two, three, and four are gonna be our strength with strength endurance, hypertrophy, maximal strength. And the last two phases are gonna be our power. Stabilization strength training. The main focus of stabilization endurance training is to increase stabilization strength and develop optimal communication between one nervous system and muscular system. Strength training. Strength endurance training is to enhance stabilization strength while increasing prime movers. Hypertrophy is the goal for maximal muscle hypertrophy. Maximal strength is the goal to increase maximal prime mover strength. Power stages. Now, these are going to be the last two of the phase in making sure that we're going to develop the speed and power. Now, why we're doing this is to build their self-esteem, mental strength, and physical dominance. That's what the OPT model does.